फ्रेंड्स गुड इवनिंग डॉक्टर पूनम संभाजी हियर फ्रॉम नॉर्थ गोवा पोरोम चाइल्ड एंड न्यूबॉर्न स्पेशलिस्ट एंड टूडेज आर क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम सुथान मुथिया हु इज आस्मी दिस क्वेश्चन हाय मैडम योर वीडियोज आर वेरी इन्फॉर्मेटिव थैंक यू सुथान माय बेबी बॉय हु इज टू इयर्स ओल्ड हिज क्रोटम इज सोलन ऑन वन साइड एंड ही वी फाउंड आउट दैट इट इज हाइड्रोसिल Our pediatrician suggested to undergo a surgery. My question is: Does surgery uh, is surgery the only solution? And secondly, is there any other medicine for hydrocele problem? Please answer my question, madam. Thanks in advance. So, um, Sutan, thank you for asking me this question. And before we go ahead with the question, we should know the anatomy. Okay? Now, what is anatomy? How the things are placed in our tummy and in the scrotum of a male. So, for that. let's see this diagram okay so if you see this diagram here is the intestine and the peritoneum okay i'll explain to you what is peritoneum after some time so the intestine and the peritoneum so from there a small cord is going which carries the testes down in the scrotum so this is your testes and this if you see the yellow covering is the same thing which is pulled here and then you can see that same yellow covering here okay so this is called tunica vagina this okay so the basically the testis is a organ which is developed in the abdomen okay and then it is pulled down into the scrotum so now example now this is your peritoneum that is the bag which is covering all the intestine so all your intestines are sitting inside this peritoneum now what happens is the testis is developed in the abdomen in a area in the abdomen and then suppose that this is your testis okay so i know it is not round but consider that this is the testis okay so consider that this is the testis and the testis slowly comes down from the abdomen and pulls this layer with it so it will come down like this like this and then it is trying to sit in the scrotum so it is coming down so let's pull this and it pulls the uh, the uh, the peritoneum with it so it is pulling the peritoneum pulling the peritoneum pulling the peritoneum and it comes down and now it starts sitting in the scrotum so this is your testis which is sitting in the scrotum okay so let's pull it little bit more down yes so now you can see so again now this is your peritoneum and this is the testis now when it pulls down comes down like this the layer of peritoneum comes down with it and over time this layer now you can see it's like a plastic bag covering the intestine right over time the layer will close the opening of the layer okay so that is this opening will close or become very small so it will close or become very small now even if it becomes very small a thin thin there is very minute opening is there within this which allows little water which is around the peritone uh, in the peritoneum around the intestine so that is called peritoneal fluid okay which comes down around the testis and it maintains a thin layer of peritoneal fluid around the testis so if this is your testis around that little thin fluid will be there in which the testis is nicely sitting and enjoying itself okay but then in some babies what happens is that this opening where is that this uh, sorry here okay in some babies this opening instead of closing or becoming very small just remains open so you can see this is the same peritoneum and this as i explained to you the the testis which pulls which comes down with the cover it's coming down with the cover the testis sitting here and this it just forgets to close yes so it remains open so when it remains open water from around the intestine trickles down and sits around the testis now this condition wherein the water around or the peritoneal fluid around the testis is more than what is expected is called hydrocel okay now hydrocel is quite common in newborn babies yes i mean not quite common but it's common in babies uh, baby boys okay newborn baby boys and over time like by one year it usually decreases it can increase when the baby is made to stand or the baby is crying a lot or the baby is training at stool um, but when the baby goes to sleep baby is lying down okay uh, horizontally then it will decrease okay and how the doctor will find out whether it is uh, hydrocele or no two ways one is they will put out the lights in the room and shine a torch around the testis area and we see that glow a reddish hue glow which will show that this is 
hydrocele most probably second thing we do a ultrasound to see whether that fluid is actually around the uh, around the testis and the radiologist tells us yes it is hydrocele there is water around the testis what are we going to do next till one year of age we are not going to do anything we are going to observe what happens next because as i said this passage which is open it is open now today fluid is coming tomorrow any part of the organ which is there in the peritoneum like the intestine can be pulled in which is one of the complications of this problem okay so if the baby comes with complications which is called hernia and if it is a obstructed hernia then your doctor will tell you to go ahead with the operation so what will happen in obstructed hernia a uh, baby will have repeated vomiting continuous vomiting severe abdominal pain baby will be crying incessantly and that area the testis will become tense okay it will not decrease even if the baby lies down anyways baby will not even lie down if they get so much of pain secondly uh, if the the uh, hydrocel doesn't decrease at the end of one year and by two years of age then you have to go for surgery that is what the surgeon will usually tell you because the chances of intestine coming into this and getting obstructed will increase that's the reason your doctor has advised you for a surgery that for the hydrocel as much as possible go ahead with the surgery if you are confident with your surgeon or if maybe if you are not uh, very confident please go to see to it that you go and you speak to your doctor regarding whatever doubts you have clear your doubts it's very important that communication is set between you and your doctor okay so that you know clearly what why your doctor has told so basically whatever reason i have told you that's the basic reason your doctor has told you to go ahead for a surgery so you can speak to your doctor clear all your doubts and then go ahead and do the management of the surgical management of the hydrocel so i hope this answer clears your doubts and uh, whatever questions you had yes the second question was whether you have any other treatment no it's a surgical problem so no amount of malam patti and dua nothing will help only this can help okay if at all it disappears on its own by nature and by god's gift yes then fine okay uh then is there any other medication as i said no and yes so sutan i have uh, I'll answered your query and i hope you are happy with your answer i hope you like this peritoneum of mine okay because i don't have many visuals with me uh, so i try to make something like this so that you know you can understand plus i use some of the foot some of the diagram so that you can understand i hope the diagram clear cleared your doubt i hope my uh, my uh, this thing uh, explanation also cleared your doubt if you still have some doubts please feel free to write it under the comment section and i will see to it that i answer it in my next forthcoming video thank you for watching do see to it that you stay subscribed to dr punam's vlog on my youtube as well as instagram and facebook see you bye bye